Okay guys, uh, I want to do this fairly, uh, fairly short and sweet here, another video for you. Um, today we're going to be making uh, a panel, we're going to be resawing stock to make a panel for the back of the tool chest and also actually for the front door of the tool chest as well. First of all, you need to have your stock prepared. Okay? You're going to prepare stock, um, you're actually going to leave it as thick as absolutely possible. So when you're jointing your face, leave like do one pass if you can get away with it, right? So you should end up with a piece, uh, this is actually Catherine's, this is for her door. You should end up with a piece that's rough at 15 by five. Because when we resaw this in half, split it and book match it, that's gonna give us a rough panel size 15 by 10 when we glue that right up. Right? When you guys are selecting material for this, uh, your panels are kind of like the special, like sort of like the eyepiece of the, of the project, right? Especially your front door panel. So think about looking for a piece of wood that has maybe some gnarly grain and stuff in it. I did this one earlier. Uh, I think this kind of looks like the Grinch. I don't know. I kept it because I thought it was pretty cool. Use it? With the eyes, you get it? Um, I'm going to use, uh, use it for something. So this is a book matched piece that I resawed and I glued up. Um, so it had some knots and some kind of funky grain things. This is kind of a really neat effect. So maybe think that, take that into consideration when you're choosing the piece of stock for your panels. Uh, this is your time to kind of be uh, creative and choose a really neat looking piece. So um, as far as setup goes on this bandsaw, uh, this is going to be, this is our resaw bandsaw. Um, first of all, obviously all the safety rules apply, our guard height. Right, we're going to maintain that kind of pencil width, roughly, uh, guard height. Um, this is a new fence that we have for this machine. All right, it's a magnetic fence, and it just uses these little twist locks on the side here. You can move this thing anywhere you want. Put the sawdust in there. And then just turn them to lock it down, and it actually is like a very tight uh, fence that works really well. Because we're going to be resawing this exactly in half, um, there's a little trick I want to show you guys to check to make sure you got this in half. We don't actually have to mark it all the way out on here with a marking gauge, although you certainly can. It's not, it's not wrong. Um, you're going to position your fence uh, visually as straight and as parallel to the table as you can. And I know this sounds kind of funny because you guys know I'm such a perfectionist, but we're actually just going to eyeball this thing. Um, with the blade exactly at halfway, and I'm going to lock it down. I know that sounds weird, right? Um, I can actually already tell that I'm, I'm going to bump this over just a hair. Right, we're going to lock it down, eyeball at halfway. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to come in with the machine running and I'm going to just kiss the wood into the blade. I'm going to flip it around and my cut should line up, it should be exactly the same, right, when I, when I flip it. That's how we're going to tell if I've got this thing set exactly uh, in the middle. Okay, so here we go.
Gotta love the nurse, eh? <laughs> Thank you, science. Okay. Um, so there we have it, guys. We have resawn this exactly in half, and actually, I think that uh, that ended up coming out pretty well. If we look on both sides, I'd say we did pretty well uh, lining that up exactly halfway. So now, that's our inside face. When we flip that, we can rejoint these inside edges that we're going to glue up, and we're going to glue that together, and our grain is going to be a mirror image of each other, um, and it's going to work uh, really well. When you guys glue these up, just be very careful to make sure that we're exactly flush or, or as equal as we can here, nice and flush on the faces, um, because uh, we need as much thickness as we possibly can. We're going to try to dress this final panel to 3 eighths of an inch thick. We're going to do that in a thickness sander. Uh, just real quick tip wise, when I was resawing that, uh, don't push hard, right? Let the saw blade do the work. Um, just nice, even, steady feed. Just kind of, um, yeah, you, there, there's no need to try to ram this thing and push too hard. If you have to do that, the blade's too dull. And then you need to call me over and I'll sharpen it up for you. Um, that's it. All the other rules of the bandsaw apply, right? We stop part way, no, no worry about kickback there. We can let this thing just go, let the board sit there while I grab a push stick and switch over to that as I, as I finish off the cut. All right, any questions?